Hello mga trippers and friends of amateurs. Welcome to uh, this intersection uh, in Rojas and this is uh, going to be the access going to Port Barton. That's going that way. Uh, Port Barton is a barangay uh, and it's a part of the town of San Vicente. It's about 22 kilometers away from here. It's about an hour ride and portion of this road going to Port Barton is uh, a rough road so you know, it's crazy because in here, there's only one jeepney going to, to Port Barton in a day. So, if you miss the jeepney, then you'll have to take the tricycle or the motorcycle going there. And the price varies. It could be from 300 to 500 pesos because they don't have a passenger going back. So, you may negotiate the driver. And uh, these are some of the uh, accommodation uh, hotels that you can take, uh, that you can have there at Port Barton. And if you need something, there are emergency headlines right here, so you can take note of that. And uh, yeah, there's Gilligan's Resort in Port Barton, and there's also uh, Villa Margarita Guest House. You can check them out at www.villamargarita.com. So there's also the place to relax there at Coconut Garden Island Resort. Oh, you can you can have your hammock uh, on the coconut tree. There's uh, San Jose Elementary School. Port Barton. Uh, this, this is the intersection going to Port Barton. You can get the tricycle from here. Or motorcycle. Okay, man, I got trippers and friends of amateurs. I have no choice, but I've got to commission this uh, tricycle going to Port Barton so I can already go now because I'm gonna see Port Barton for. for uh, about two or three hours long because I still have to go to El Nido. Um, I just stopped by Port Bar to see uh, uh, what, what it's like. Because uh, some of the travelers that I I, I uh, talked to after they traveled in Palawan, they said Port Bar is really an exceptional place because it's not the more touristic uh, destination here in Palawan. Yes. Part of the road from uh, Rojas to Port Barton is uh, not yet cemented, so you'll experience a shaky ride from here. The cemented road again. There's a jump on the street. Port Barton, it's a uh, very promising feel. Uh, like we're in It's like Bohol or, you know. You'll see rice fields. And uh, along the road from Rojas to Port Barton, you will see uh, several Sari Sari stores. So if you need to buy something along the roads, I think it's, there's no problem with that one. The problem is the transportation going to Port Barton because it's hard. Some of the rice fields have uh, just been harvested and um, I think they are going to plant again because uh, in a year I think there are two harvests. So in June they'll start planting. If you're from Port Barton going back to Rojas, so I guess you can take this uh, mini van from there, but uh, I'm not just sure yet about the frequency of this uh, trips. Uh, we'll know when we arrive. Uh, concreted area here and it's about a year past 
road going through uh, Port Martin. We're actually halfway through our trip to Port Martin from Rojas. And this is already a completed uh, portion of the road. Yeah, this I have to ask the tricycle driver to uh, stop for a while so I can get a capture of this place. It's really nice. That's Port Barton, Barton down there. So from here we can already uh, see a glimpse of Port Barton. Okay, let's proceed now because in about 6 to 10 minutes we'll be seeing Port Barton. Just before we arrive at Port Barton, there's a rough road again. Another rough road here. This area here is actually part of Port Barton already. This is the bus here that uh, goes to Port Barton. That's going to Porta Princesa. Yes. Ah, okay. And that's the only bus. <laughs> so you can't use the bus if you are from here. We're really here in Port Barton now. There's Austria store. So we came from that road. area here so there's a store here oh, it's not a store oh yeah it's a store it's selling drinks and if you like fruits there's banana there and there are cottages here and stalls selling some goods if you're hungry there's fruit oh that's a different banana it's a uh, and there's billiards Tubers and friends of amateurs, we're finally here in Port Barton. So, this is like a cottage. Ah, this is. Hey, could you have turned in for? It's not as touristic as El Nido or a Puerto Princesa, but it's a very quiet place. Before you can uh, hop on a pump road going to El Nido from here in Port Barton and uh, I guess it was about 3,500 but uh, right now it's uh, not allowed anymore I guess because of the danger of traveling you know from Port Barton to uh, El Nido because as you as as you know this is already facing West Philippine Sea because we are in the western side of Palawan and yes this is Port Barton Slip it's more like a day it's very quiet here and so peaceful you don't see so much tourists in this area but um yes it's actually different the vibe and the surroundings so mostly you see some banca here there's a native uh, bow bar and spa unfortunately they're closed now it's uh 2 30 maybe the, uh, tonight so there's a Two tourists trying to talk to a local here in Port Barton. Maybe negotiating with a bank or an island help them. Thank you. are from which country? Uh, France. Oh, bonjour. bonjour. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, I'm from the Philippines, but I'm from Cebu. So it's my first time also in Palawan. They're so going to El Nido also? We've been there already. Ah, okay. Corong and El Nido. And then you're going to Puerto Princesa? Yeah. Yeah, we take a flight take a to flight. Cebu. Ah, you're going to Cebu? Yeah, yeah. We, want to, we want to buy uh, some ukulele there. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, you should visit Mactan because uh, you say hi to our French friends in Cebu uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Eloise. And? and Maxim. Yes, bonjour from France. Bonjour. I have a friend in France, uh, in France actually, and there's uh, uh, some French guys in Cebu, they start a business, a gym. It's a very f famous, it's a fitness nation. They're French uh, brothers, they're three brothers. So you should visit them in Maria Luisa Road. Uh, it's in Vanilla, Cebu City, so you can visit them. They're, they're French. You okay. might want because uh, they're offering free. There are a restaurant free. there? No, no, it's a it's a gym. It's a it's a uh, nice gym. gym. It's gym. a high end gym. Oh, wow. yes. There are three awesome. French brothers, and they invest in. Uh, gym. He love gym. Is the uh, son yeah, of, yeah. You should visit there. Is the son of Jean Claude Van Damme. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> You're kidding me. French and Belgium. Huh? Yeah. French and Belgium. What, what yeah. do you mean? Yeah, because Jean Claude Van Damme is Belgium. Belgium guy. A Belgian guy. A Belgi dad. Belgium game. Belgium Your? game. My dad. Your dad is? Yeah. Dr. Vodab. Really? You're not kidding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's huh? a joke. <laughs> because you really look like, uh, you know, the son of John claude Van Damme. Uh -huh. He makes luck of uh, sport and box. Okay, okay. Yeah, you That's endorse my, my, my channel, <laughs> Amon Tours, uh, Trip Nure on, on YouTube. So it's Trip Nure. Trip. And what's your name? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm Amon Ray. So I use Amon Ray? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful name. Uh, Amon Tours. A M O N and Tours on YouTube. So you will see your face there. Okay. I'll post it. <laughs> there. Uh, Bye. Bye. Bye, Salamat. Okay, Salamat. You know Tagalog already. Enjoy, enjoy the trip. So we have French uh, tourists right there. Um, I'll just one more thing before I leave Port Barton because I'm just uh, I just went here to uh, check Port Barton out early because um, a lot of uh, foreign travelers that I met said that Port Barton is a really nice place. I'll just ask for some um, rates here of the accommodation room. So when you're here, uh, you will already uh, have an idea. Hello, po ate. Magandang hapon po. How much is the room here? If how much per night po? My rooms ba dito? Wala kami dito. Mga magkano naman po? Yan ang hina. Malayo pa ba? Yan lang sa kabila. Ah, okay. The, the next one. So, this is a, a spa. How much naman po yung spa dito? Well, ba, they were 500. 500. For foreign. For, for foreign tourists. Yeah. How about locals? Like us, mga locals. <laughs> we can... 350. 350. So, you have an idea already how much. Okay po, ate. Bye-bye. What's... Anong pangalan po ninyo? Okay, if you, you feel stressed when you get here in Port Barton, you can just visit this place. Bye bye, po. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the other. Uh, it's just uh, on the next uh, property. Uh, there's an uh, accommodation uh, area here. I see that this is the beach side of Port Barton. Wow, this is nice for a vacation as well. Not not too many people, not too crowded. So this is a Deep Moon Resort. Yeah, I saw it in the... I saw it online. Oh, they have huts here. Let's go to the reception area and ask. Okay. Please take off your shoes. Thank you. Hello po. Good afternoon. Uh, I'll just ask for the rates because I'm not staying here, but uh, at least my friends will have an idea. Yes, sir. This was double rates for the room. Yes, for the rooms, how much is the? This one. This is Deep Moon Resorts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, one thousand for this uh, villa. This is for the this front. Hut. Front. Oh, okay, of and the then. Beach. And then what else? Waterfront one, one thousand. Okay. Waterfront two, one thousand three hundred. Okay. Waterfront three, one thousand three hundred. Waterfront four, one thousand six hundred. And. Waterfront five, one thousand six hundred. Okay. And this one is also in the front. Mm -hmm. One thousand three hundred also. Mm -hmm. And honeymooners two thousand. Mm -hmm. At the back of the waterfront, okay. one thousand five hundred. One thousand. Okay. And also one thousand. All right. So the uh, and also this one. Hub. At this one is all at the back of the, the beach. Back. Yes. All free breakfast for two. No, no, no. In uh, we have also a uh, beach separate in the white beach. Okay. Where's that oh, white beach here? Maybe four to five minutes going there. Uh, that area. That... No, no, by the road. Ah, uh, by the road. Okay. Yeah, it's very far from here. So. Uh, all these uh, rates are good for two people. Yes. And how, how much is extra person? Uh, 
250. You need uh, ah, extra 250. bed. Yes. Okay, so you don't have dorm type uh, accommodation? We here? have, we have here. How much is it per person? Uh, 400 and uh, 450. The 450 have a private so bathroom back. inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so uh, if you're okay with the dorm type accommodation, so they have, and that's 450 per night. Yes. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. And this update is brought to you by Amon. Welcome to this yes. Moon. Yes, what's your name? Abel. 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 Yes. So you can thank visit you. Uh, Deep Moon here with Ate Abel. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Actually, this is nice because it's by the beach. So, yeah, right, right, right well, after you get out of your uh, room, you can already see the beach right there. Yes. Your friend here from she's from the Netherlands. What's your name again? Lika. Ah, uh, Lika. Can you say hi to our, your friends in the Netherlands? Hi, hi everybody. Yes, hi. I'm on tours on YouTube. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, A M O N T A and tours. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Good thing if you uh, travel, you'll meet uh, new friends. So this is Port Barton once again. Yes, I hope I had uh, more time here in. Palawan so I can stay here in Port Barton but but then I have to to head north to El Nido already so it's cool that I was able to see this place because uh, a lot of uh, travelers are really telling me this is so nice and yes my expectations of Port Barton is uh, is really uh, so this is the other side there are also several resorts here. To be fair of this place, I have to check the other side of Port Barton on, the, on this beach area. Because there are still uh, several resorts lined up along this side of the beach. There's U.S. and jo Josie Lodging Inn, formerly El Bucero and Aquaholics Dive Center. Inala Delon Island Resort, Camping Paradise Port Barton at 1.5 per person. So you can use a tent, phone bed and pillow meals, dinner and breakfast and to go transfer. So if you're gonna go island hopping, you can definitely take that one. So there are resto bars here. There's only some types. There's the Philippine Coast Guard right there. Hey, we are. How much is this island hopping per person? 700 per person. 700 per person. Okay, so uh, any time of the day, per day. Okay, so if you want to go island hopping, so you can check this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. How many persons, sir? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'm just here for a day, so not, not today. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. This is Aosan Beachfront Cottages Restaurant here in Port Barnum. It's cool here. You can have your. Under, I can have your breakfast or lunch or dinner under a coconut tree. This is Barton Bistro and Cadges. Or as you can grab today's special, fish canilo 200, fish and chips, sweet and sour nachos. Then the happy hour from 5 to 7 p.m. Beer bucket at 300 pesos. And that's with cheesy nacho. Wow. Sounds like a good deal. Now leaving uh, Port Barton and we're going back to Rojas. So we can take the bus going to El Nido. For section in Rojas. Uh, Port Barton. That's uh, the plan is for Port Barton. Thank you, Paul, for your Edwin. So I'm bound for El Nido now and I'm gonna take this uh, van going to El Nido. Yes, from Rojas. Where I'm gonna stay. I think it's full. Hi, hello, Popoya. Yeah. El Nido. Yes, I'm inbound for El Nido. Yes, see you in El Nido in a while. And by the way, my YouTubers and friends of amateurs, please, uh, if you have time, uh, kindly subscribe 
to our YouTube travel channel, it's Amon Tours, and you will see um, more of our travel videos here in the Philippines because it's more fun in the Philippines. Look, we're frozen. Look, we're frozen. So snow.